Lesson 10.5, Make Bar Graphs. If you haven't seen 10.4, it's linked in the description where we learn to read bar graphs. So in video 10.4, like I said, we learn how to read bar graphs and compare the data. We can make our own bar graph. We need a title on the top, a scale of numbers on a grid, a label for the scale, a label for the bars, and bars that are the correct height or length for the data. So we can see on this bar graph, it's titled Books Emma Has Read. Here we have our scale of numbers and we have our labels. The numbers are the number of books and we have a label for the months, June, July, and August. So let's answer the questions. Emma read a total of blank books. We can find the total of books she read by looking at June, which is four, July, which is five, and August, which is three. We add them, four plus five is nine, plus three more is 12. That means Emma read a total of 12 books. This question says, she read the most books during the month of blank. And we can look at the bar graph for the tallest, the longest bar, and that would be July. That's five. It's higher than the bar for June or for August. So she read the most books during the month of July. Using a bar graph, it makes it very easy to compare data. We can see the month of August was the month she read the fewest books. She only read three. This is a grid. And a grid is a pattern of evenly spaced lines that go left and right, which cross the lines that go up and down. And the lines form, that means they make, squares or rectangles. We can complete a bar graph to show collected data. Let's look at the bar graph first. It says bracelets sold. Here's the number that were sold, and here's the colors, blue, red, green, purple. It's labeled the colors. And it's telling us that Sarah sold five blue bracelets, three red bracelets, two green bracelets, and four purple bracelets. We think we use the numbers on the left side to know the height as the stopping point for each bar. Well, we can see for blue, it's already here, the five blue. We can see for red, it's at three, so it already has the three red bracelets drawn. That tells us to complete this bar graph, we need to draw the two green bracelets and four purple bracelets. For the two green ones, we're going to draw a bar that stops at the two on the scale. That's two green bracelets. Now we need to do four purple bracelets. For purple, we're going to come over here and we're going to draw our bar so that it goes to the line on the scale for four. This shows four purple bracelets. One, two, three, four. Here we have a question. It says, how many fewer green did she sell than blue, red, and purple? How many fewer tells me that we're going to need to subtract. We need to compare green, the two green, to the total of the blue, red, and purple. So now we need to total the blue, red, and purple. The blue is five, the red is three, five plus three is eight, purple is four, eight plus four is 12. That means we're comparing 12 and two. And 12 minus two is equal to 10, which means it's 10 fewer. We need to be careful. We need to make sure each bar is the correct length or height 
and matches the correct number on the scale. Here it says complete the bar graph by using the given data. We can see the bar graph is titled pets we have. Here is the label number of classmates for our scale and the type of pet label down here tells us dog, cat, bird, fish, reptile. Tala made a list of the pets her classmates have. Four dogs, five have a cat, two have a bird, two have fish, and one has a reptile. We need to draw the bars. We can choose any color we want as long as we choose different colors for each bar. Four have a dog, so for the dog column, we are going to draw it up to four. We choose a color, I chose purple, and we color it up to the number four on the scale. The next one says five have a cat. We go to the cat column and we're gonna to have to draw our bar, color it in up to the five on the scale. So, so far we've done dog, we've done cat, now we need to have a bird. We look at the bird column and we're gonna color our bar up to the number two on the scale. I chose yellow and I colored it in up to the two on the scale. Now we have finished bird, we need to do to have fish. I chose blue for the fish and I colored it in up to the two on the scale. We see one classmate has a reptile. We go to reptile and we're gonna color it in to match the one on the scale. Now we've completed the bar graph with all the information we can answer the question, how will the graph change if one more classmate gets a dog? Well, look at this graph. What happens if one more classmate gets a dog? The dog bar will go up one more, won't it? And it will be the same height as the cat bar. We can write, the bar for dog will go up one more. It will be the same as cat. And we can look at this right now the way it is and see that cat is the most, reptile is the fewest, and we can see bird and fish are the same number. We have one last example. It's telling us to draw bars in the graph to show the data. Here's the data. Two people chose vanilla. We look, it says favorite ice cream. Here's the flavors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Here's the number of people and here's our scale. Now our scale is on the bottom. If two people chose vanilla, we would go to the vanilla row and color it in up to the number two on the scale. It's telling us four people chose chocolate. We're going to go to the chocolate row and fill in and color up to the number four on the scale. Now it's telling us three people chose strawberry. We're going to go to strawberry and we're going to fill in this row up to the number three on the scale. Now we've filled out the graph, we can answer the questions. How many people chose vanilla or strawberry? We look at the number of vanilla is two. We look at the number of strawberry is three. We add two plus three. That means the number of people that chose vanilla or strawberry is five. It says vanilla or strawberry. We need to add them together. This one says, which flavor did the most people choose? We look at the graph and see that the bar for chocolate is sticking out the farthest. The answer is chocolate. And the last question says, did more people choose vanilla and strawberry than chocolate? We see chocolate is four, vanilla and strawberry is five. Did more people choose vanilla and strawberry than chocolate? Yes, they did. Chocolate was four, vanilla and strawberries five. 
that's one more. So yes, more people did choose vanilla and strawberry than chocolate. Make sure you read the problems very carefully. Our next lesson, 10.6, we're going to be doing some word problem solving and displaying data. And we're going to see how using these graphs can help us solve a word problem. Have a really great day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.